The United States will soon announce the transfer of $2.3 billion worth of weapons to Ukraine as part of the next military aid package, according to Pentagon Chairman Lloyd Austin. As the U.S. Secretary of Defense said at the beginning of his meeting with his Ukrainian counterpart Rustem Yumarov, the package will include anti-tank weapons, as well as missiles for the Patriot and other air defense systems. Make no mistake, Ukraine is not alone, and the United States will never waver in our support. Alongside some 50 allies and partners, we'll continue to provide critical capabilities that Ukraine needs to push back Russian aggression today and to deter Russian aggression tomorrow," Austin said. Austin said that the missiles will be provided under the accelerated procurement procedure, achieved via altering the shipment order for other recipients. He also added that during the meeting with Yumarov, they plan to discuss ways to meet Ukraine's security needs and create forces to repel possible Russian aggression in the future. Last week, Western media reported rumors that the United States would announce a new $150 million military aid package for Ukraine. This was supposed to happen on July 1, but American officials did not make any statements. With the latest $2.3 billion, the U.S. has committed to more than $53.5 billion in security assistance to Ukraine since the Russian invasion in February 2022. With that support, we have stopped Russia, stopped the aggression toward people, toward our values, national interests," Yumarov said in thanking Austin for the support. Austin said Ukraine continues to be locked into a relentless fight with Russia, and Russia is intensifying its bombardment of Ukrainian cities and civilians. During the meeting with Austin, Yumarov said Ukraine was looking forward to becoming a member of NATO. Hopefully soon Ukraine will receive its invitation. The Netherlands has issued a license to export 24 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. Dutch Defense Minister Kaisa Allengren announced this in a letter to the country's parliament, writes AD. According to journalists, the letter was also written on behalf of Foreign Minister Henk Bruins Slot and Foreign Trade Minister Lissier Skramacher. AD, citing sources in The Hague, also writes that the government wanted to issue a license as soon as possible, before a new cabinet came to power. At the same time, the coalition parties, the publication notes, agreed to continue to politically, militarily, financially and morally support Ukraine. With the issuance of a license, AD writes, now nothing can prevent the supply of F-16s to Ukraine. So, the Netherlands has finalized export licenses for the fleet of F-16 fighter jets that will be delivered to Ukraine. Dutch Defense Minister Kaisa Allengren did not disclose the exact date or other delivery details, citing operational security concerns. The announcement confirmed that export licenses for the aircraft had been issued. Allengren told the media in June that the Dutch F-16s would reach Ukraine at some point in the summer. Previous projections were more pessimistic, suggesting a fall delivery date. According to her, Ukraine can use its F-16s to target military objectives on Russian territory, with the condition that international humanitarian law is observed. The jets will arrive a year after Denmark and the Netherlands co-founded the Fighter Jet Coalition for Ukraine at the NATO summit in Vilnius in July 2023. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine expects to expand and strengthen its air defense capacities in the coming month. The first fighters are expected to arrive in the summer. In addition to the Netherlands, Denmark, Belgium and Norway also promised to supply aircraft to Ukraine.